Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of SWB Gaming. Let's play Shadow the Colossus. I've got to apologize because the last video, for some reason, the Elgato software did not record the commentary. That's not the first time this has happened, but it's the first time it's happened with the new microphone. So I'm a little perturbed by that. I really like the commentary I put together for the last one too, because the 13th Colossus, Phalanx, is my favorite Colossus. I definitely could have gone back and put in some post commentary, but I didn't have any software currently, and I didn't want to download anything new and kind of mess with it yet, so I, I just uploaded it without the commentary. I apologize that it didn't have what I normally add to it. I've even contacted Elgato, and they're trying to blame the microphone and the computer, and I'm telling them I know it's the software. This is frustrating. Heck, if any of them would have cut out, I would not have been opposed to it being this video or the 11th. Because they're two small colossi that are just not enjoyable, in my opinion. But this one's very puzzle platformy, so if you like platformers, you might like this one. I just gotta remember the right direction to go. Okay. Oh, that's right, I remember where he is. I just don't remember the best route to get to him. Man, that just sucks, too. I was so proud of that last video. Let's talk about the little strategies. Oh, well. Could have been worse. Okay. I know where he is, so hopefully I take the correct path to him. I think this is the shortest, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. and because we're going to get in this little labyrinth area, there's no light. So it's if you're trying to find it yourself, it can be a little difficult to figure out exactly where to go. I'll pull up the map once more for you. You're basically trying to head kind of straight through up into the cloudy area that hasn't been accessed yet. So I'm curious to see if Agro will directly take us there or if we have to control him a bit. So for now I'm just kind of let him, letting Agro take me whichever direction it is he wants to take me. He should turn left. So far so good. How we doing? Okay. Now we can't go that direction? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't go that direction. I think there's like a little wall that prohibits us from moving on. But this should be the right way. Yeah, that's looking better. Hopefully my memory serves me right. Yeah. 
There we go. This is looking good. I think that is the optimal way to get here. Hey, grow, come on, buddy. So yeah, this will be another small colossus. He goes by the name of... I don't know if it's... Kenobia? Cenobia? I'm not really sure. But he's another easy one to die on because if you fall off of him and he hits you once, you might not be able to get up quick enough to recover and get out of his way. I had it happen once where he hit me and the second I started getting up again, he hit me again. The second I started getting up again, he hit me again and he just looped me until he killed me. So definitely not fun. Now the first time I fought this Colossus, it took me a very long time to figure out what to do. Then once you figure out what you're supposed to do, it still kind of takes a while. <laughs> like I said, this will be very platformy. I'm going to shoot him just because I can. I don't like the guy. It's not awake yet. Okay. Alright, so you just have to lure this guy all the way around by doing this series of platforming. Making sure he's following us. So far, so good. Now, in order to knock over a pillar, he has to crash into it twice. He will crash into it once naturally. To get him to crash into it a second time, you have to shoot an arrow at him. So what we need to do is just kind of rinse and repeat that over and over and over again. With having him knock over pillars and just kind of make your way from pillar to pillar. Until we can get to a spot where we can actually damage him. He's got a hard armor shell on. Which we have to destroy that armor first. And then we can actually damage him. Come on, buddy, back up. There we go. Now, you don't have to do this the way I'm doing it. I'm just trying to make a nice little... Oh, didn't get it. That's not a good thing. I was trying to make a little jump. It didn't work. <sighs> Got lucky there. Maybe I shouldn't be so risky. Cause that was that was dumb. I could easily die there. Alright, come on, buddy, back up. There we go.
Nope, didn't make it that time either. Probably because I'm out of practice. Come on, little doggy. Back up. There you go. Whoa! Hey, grow or wander, buddy. Jeez. He's just all sorts of flaily today. Come on, crash into it. There we go. That was a little better. Yeah, if you're real fast with it, you can use the momentum of the falling pillar to throw you further along, which will get you higher up onto the next pillar, or kind of land you on the platform a little further than it normally would. Now you definitely want to be careful with this one, because he's going to run into it and crash. Come on, buddy. And it's going to trigger C. You can actually move in this scene, but it's really easy to stun yourself and... Ugh. Just have all sorts of bad things happen here. Whoa. Come on, buddy, get over here. Come back. Good. Now we gotta be fast about this. Because he's pretty fast. If he catches up to us, it could spill out death. There we go. We're almost done with the platforming. So now we're at the point where we can damage him. But it's still not an easy fight. He's another one of those small ones, which means it's really easy for him to uh, just shake us loose. So I'm going to shoot him a little bit to try to do as much damage as I can with the bow. Which so I think we can get like a total 5% on him, and then it stops doing damage. And that's about one half stab, which just makes it a little easier in the end. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna shoot you till you stop taking damage. Just because it's gonna make my life easier. I'm surprised he's actually still taking damage. This is nice. Any moment now, he'll stop taking damage. Maybe? Why are you still taking damage, bud? I'm not complaining, but I like it. It's... None of you have taken this much damage from arrows before. Like, ever. There we go. That looks like he's done. 
Okay, let's get our stamina back real fast. Okay. Come on, buddy. And now for the shakes. Whoa! <sighs> Not a good thing. Okay. We're actually okay though. As long as we stay on the high ground, we're safe. All right. Oh yeah, he he's gonna crash into these things and it'll stun him a little longer. And that's to our benefit. Crash, buddy. Ah. Whoops. Let's try to get a jump stab and fail miserably. Good. Don't even tell me I hit a sweet spot. I'm gonna love it. Oh, no way. I should be flailing violently, guys. I just got lucky with the spot. Oh, that really wasn't a bad fight. It wasn't a great fight, but it wasn't a bad fight. Okay. We've only got two Colossus to go. We're almost there. The next one's going to be another one of my favorites, so I'm looking forward to that. Alright guys, if you like the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Comments are always welcome, and I'll see you next time.